Over the past year, your morning has been bringing you stories of women and their health concerns around textured breast implants. As of April 4th, Health Canada began looking into 28 confirmed cases of BIA-ALCL. That's a rare cancer of the immune system. 24 of those cases involved Allergan's BioCell breast implant. And while Health Canada has issued a report, they also say the exact cause of this cancer is still unknown. Well, now lawyers at two Ontario firms and two Quebec firms are pursuing two different legal actions that surround the implants. With us this morning is Kate Mizuko and Renee Vinette. They are lawyers working on the Ontario cases. Uh, good morning to you both. Thank you for having us. Good what, are you, what are your clients saying has happened? Why has have, why this led to legal action? So we currently represent two women who have been diagnosed with BIA-ALCL um, after having textured implants. And they've suffered um, various losses. Uh, they had to go through an explantation, so removal of the implant and the capsule. Um, some women have to undergo further treatment beyond that, so that might include chemotherapy, radiation. Some women have suffered losses of income because they've been off from work. Um, so that's the types of stories that we've heard from our clients and from other women that we've spoken with. Two different firms, uh, same textured breast implants. Is it a class action suit? Is this something that's going to get bigger? It's not a class action. There, there is a class action that has been started in Quebec. However, what we're proceeding with is a mass tort. These, uh, we feel that this is the perfect kind of a case where the damages could be very different for each claimant depending on when they were diagnosed with this uh, cancer. And uh, so their damages will be very different and we will be assessing them individually. That's very different from a class action where it's uh, sort of similar damages and uh, a division of whatever the, ma the uh, settlement of the whole. We reached out to Allergan for a response to the pending lawsuits. This is the statement that they provided us. The safety profile of Allergan's breast implants is supported by extensive preclinical device testing. The cause of BIA ALCL is currently unknown and not fully understood, and multiple potential theories for what causes this condition have been proposed. We are committed to strict adherence to all regulatory requirements, to the most rigorous scientific evidence, and to the highest industry standards for our products. Uh, you said you're both working with women who have launched lawsuits. What are your clients seeking? They're seeking damages for their losses. So that's going to come in the form of damages for pain and suffering, loss of enjoyment of life. Um, there's going to be treatment costs associated with the diagnosis and the, the symptoms that are, you know, arise from that diagnosis. Um, again, I mentioned previously that some women have to take time off work to deal with both the explantation process, but also the treatment that they may um, have to undergo afterwards, such as, again, chemotherapy or radiation. Um, and Not again, to mention having the implants removed. Yes, that's right, taking the, the, the implants out. Um, and there's also the psychological and emotional impact, so those, there might be treatment costs related to that. And lastly, there's also punitive damages, right, which unlike the other damages that we've talked about, which are compensatory in nature, those are designed to, to sort of punish and deter the defendant. Uh, we know that France has banned textured implants. Uh, Brazil as well. Other countries in Europe uh, are investigating or have suspended purchase of textured implants, not all necessarily from the same company. Depending on what Health Canada says, so Health Canada has not suspended them. They have said they're looking into these cases. They are investigating. They issued a public report. Depending on what Health Canada finds, how does that change your cases? Um, so currently, Health Canada, they've suspended them, right, while they're doing further investigations. They provided Allergan an opportunity to provide further evidence for their review, which my understanding is that has been provided and Health Canada is looking at that. Obviously, um, the stronger Health Canada's findings are, the better it is for our case. But certainly, the science continues to evolve, and we're going to continue to find out more about this as uh, through you know, the science that's being conducted globally, but also in our lawsuits and through our discovery process, because we're going to be asking for documentation. We're going to be asking a lot of questions. This is a global concern, and we thank you both for coming on this morning. Thank you very much.